Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. Photos and video. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to edit your photos, and we're going to once again go into the Photos app. I'm going to tap here, and then I'm going to bring up a picture. So this is a way you're viewing your photo. Now if you want to edit it, you're going to choose Edit, which is up here in the right. Okay. Now you're going to see a bunch of tools that come up. And the phone is, um, in this case, pretty much the same. Right. Uh, it's just a little, the tools will be in a diff little, diff slightly different spot. But they're basically the same. Um, here I'm going to show you these tools. The first one is the new one. Right. And that is the live photo. Which is so fun. If you have a um, 6S or 6S Plus, and it, this is a little circle thing. If it's blue, it's on. And that's off, okay. And so you can course, take it off after you take the picture. Right. So we all know and what I the light. I don't know if it'll show here. Let's go oh. out. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It doesn't yeah. show in there. Here you can see the horse is eating. Right. So it's a live picture. And you can turn it off here if you want. You can't right. add it, obviously, after the fact. Because right. you can take a picture with live photo off, but you can't right. put it on But maybe, you, maybe you've got it on there and somebody said something stupid right. or it just right. looks dumb. Also, if you, you get into um, editing it will turn off the live photo. It takes it off. The only thing you can do and keep the live photo on is the magic tool, which oh, is the next one down. I didn't know that. And this one is a great tool, this little wand. It really acts like magic if I turn it on. Um, this is kind of a good photo to start with, but it really does like corrections yeah. to color and lighting and um, contrast. Right. And I do it to almost every photo that I take. Yeah. And most of the time that's all I need to do unless it was you know really dark lighting right. or something like that's that. That's cool. And then, of course, um, with any of these tools, you can put them on and take them off later. Right. That's a really great yep. feature. Apple keeps the original, so you can revert at any time. Right. <clears> so the next tool that I'm going to show you down here is the crop and rotate. Which is a great tool. If I tap on that, now you see what happened. When I tapped on the magic wand, I could do that, and that was fine. I go into it, now this other tool, and it says editing turns off live photos. So when you edit a photo, it doesn't, which makes sense if you it think does. about it, because the live photo is a little it's clip of video before and after it, so you're not editing the video. Right, right. So, you know, if you wanted to keep it, you could make a copy if you want, like the live right. photo, you could but do you that. wanted to edit it, right, things like right. that. So the first thing when we go into the crop tool is um, cropping. And to crop, we have a frame around the horse. I could hear the dog yeah, the kind dog, of snoring a little bit. The dog is moaning there. In the <laughs> That's what you get with the home studio, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> um, you'll see a little frame around the photo. And to crop, you can do it two, what, what, two different ways. And one is just sort of freehand. If I grab a corner, oops, and I'm moving the photo, but I could also oops, grab, let me go down here, grab the corner and move it into any shape I wanted. and then if I hit done, it would crop. Or, I'm gonna hit cancel. A different way to crop, oops, I didn't mean to go all the way out there, is um, the presets. And this little icon down here, if I tap on that, um, you can do a square, and it will go to a square crop, or um, you can pick any of these pictures. These are standard photo sizes, It'll five by it, seven. Constrain it to that yep. size. Yeah, right. right, so I could do seven, five by seven, but I could, you know, make it smaller. Right. That'd be kind of interesting. Now, you can also pinch and zoom the picture, can't you, to, to right. do it yep. too? Yep. So you can move you it around. You just zoom that in way. on his eye. <laughs> oh, you're going to clean up that eye, Jazz. Yeah. Um, so that's a nice feature. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. We can oh, I was going to say something to note is that, you know, sometimes if you do like a crazy freehand crop of it, it may not show up right when you're looking at it in the photos view. Oh, right. I've but if you, that. if you tap on it, you'll see the whole thing. But sometimes sharing pictures with people, too, if you do some kind of crazy out of mm -hmm. whack um, alignment or crop. Yeah, it's kind of a good idea, I found, with the photos to keep them to standard, ex you know, constrained to one of the industry things. accepted sizes. Right, right. But you can certainly do whatever you want. Right. So the next one, I'm going to... And then the rotate, oops. too. And that's it. what I'm doing. Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry. I'm um, going to go back in here to my tool. And um, to, rotating works the same way. You can do it one of two different ways. You can do it freehand or by set increments. So here, you can, this time, you can see this little wheel here. If I grab that, <laughs> it's going to free rotate. Okay? So we could do it that way. 
Or again, up here is a little icon. If I so you can see this, this arrow going like this see way. A little arrow. Oh, whoops. There's a little there arrow. Is. Yep. A um, little arrow going that way. It's going to just rotate it 90 degrees around. Right. So that is a crop and rotate. A pretty easy to use tools, but very um, useful. All right. Trying to get the whole thing okay. in there. We're not seeing the whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to go to reset. Now, the next tool I'm going to show you is this little three circles that are overlapping. And these are your filter tools. Okay. If I tap on that. Now, filters... Um, are kind of become big with like Twitter and Instagram or Instagram really started it all but um, you can see here what it does it'll show you a little preview of all the different kind of filters that you can do mm -hmm. and um, filters are interesting you can actually take a picture with a filter if you're in the camera app you can turn it on and um, you can always turn it off here um, if you did take a picture with it so that's good to know but you can just tap on it and see what kind of filter you want if you want one. They're kind of fun. Sometimes they're neat, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you don't, they're good to do. So those are filters. They're pretty basic. And this comes with some basic ones. So the next thing we're going to look at is We're going to look at adjusting light. color and light. <clears throat> so you can do a lot of different things with a picture um, adjusting the color and light. I'm going to go out to a, oops, I saved that one. Oh, well. I'm going to go out here. I always know I can take it you off. You can take later. it off, any yep. filter yep. or any... Let's show that. Okay. I think that's a really important thing about editing. Let's okay. go into that picture. So if I say, oh, I didn't want to do that, I can come in here and I can either go into the individual thing or I can just revert and revert to the original and go back to the right. whole original. Take there everything off. Where did he go? I don't know where <laughs> There it is. Now it's back to normal. Right. Yeah. That's a really nice feature. At any point, and show them how you can see what the editing has been done. Right, I will. First, let me show you the editing, and then I'll show you one that I've really edited a lot. You can see how you can make changes oh, okay. and modify it. So <clears throat> this picture, I'm going to go ahead and edit. You can see it's a little bit dark. It's kind of hard to get a picture of this horse because of the white spots and the dark the dark spots. So we're going to go down here and tap on this. I don't even know what that looks like, but it's like a little... <clears throat> A little clock, really. Yeah, I think it's like a gauge. A like gauge, a, some kind of gauge. Yeah. And it's going to bring up three options, light, color, and black and white. Mm -hmm. So if we go into light, which is probably the, the one that most people use, it brings up a slider, and it's showing you the red line is where you are now. That's normal. Anything above that will be lighter. Anything below that will be darker. And it's going to go ahead, and we just get on here, and we start dragging it. We're going to see what it does. I'm going to go all the way so you can see it dramatically it yeah. or go really dark yeah. and do something dramatic. Now, let's say that I don't really like that because in order to get her light enough, it's lightening up my background too much and I'm not ha really happy with that. I can go in and do further adjustments. This is, this is taking into, I'm going to go like this so you can see what it has done. Now, you see the three line icon down mm -hmm. here below. It's kind of like a more. Right. I'm going to tap on that and it's going to bring up and it's going to show me specific things I can change. Mm -hmm. um, it made some adjustments from normal. As you can see here, it took the exposure down and the highlights down and the shadows up and the brightness up and so on. But let's say I think shadows should come up more. I'm going to tap on shadows and now it says shadows up here. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just adjusting the shadows. And you can see oh. that I can make her lighter without really affecting um, some of the other things in the picture. Right. You can get really intricate here. You can get very intricate. You can go in and you could say, well, you know, let's just um, take I, the I highlights like the down. Contrast. Let's take the highlights down. You know, we have, yeah, the you highlights are too blown out. Grass, yeah. yeah, and look at the sky. See, it may have been too blown out, but now I'm going to take that down a little and get Make a little more. Blue, yeah. Yeah, so you can do a variety of different things there. And when you want to get out of it, you just tap on that and you can get back to just light. Right. And now I could adjust the whole thing again. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to color. And the same thing works for color. Right now it's doing an overall color adjustment mm -hmm. um, from nothing all the way up to fully saturated. Mm -hmm. Or if I tap on the three line icon, it's going to bring up saturation, contrast, and cast. Mm -hmm. So let's say I want to change the cast, the color cast of this picture. I can make it more yellow or more blue. Oh, I like the blue, yeah. Yeah, whichever way I want to do it. So you can really get very creative here. Yeah. Go into saturation, and maybe I want to super saturate, or I want to desaturate. Mm -hmm. You could really, really do a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, you could you do it to, to make your photo technically perfect, or you could do it for artsy reasons. Exactly, yeah, you can really have a lot of fun. 
Now, if I go into black and white, I have the ability to A, turn it into a black and white photo. And if I go to the three line icon, I can decide where the neutrals are. I can play with the tone mm -hmm. of, the, of the black and white. So now I'm just in tone and I can be adjusting that. Mm -hmm. I think that's really nice because sometimes you take a color picture and you make it black and white and it doesn't really look very good. Mm -hmm. So here you can come in and you can adjust um, to get it the way that you like it to look. Right. A little sharper. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, one other, um, well, let me just show you one thing here. I'm going to discard the changes on this one. And I'll just show you one that was uh, modified up pretty good. Here's a picture of my two dogs. Oh, so cute. And if I go into edit, and at any time when you're editing, mm -hmm. you can tap on the screen. It'll show you the original. Wow. This is a great thing. Yeah. So there's what I started with. Here's what I ended with. Yep, you can see you cropped it. And you I lightened, lightened it. it. I you played with the color cast. Enhanced the color, yeah. So it's very nice. So remember that. Anytime you're editing, while you're editing a picture, you can go in and you can hold down to see, what yeah. have I done? Do I like what I've done from the original? Right. And, of course, I could revert this if I wanted. Yeah. Or but, then, but the thing is, re reverting, it only reverts to the original. It reverts everything. So if you've done, like, ten things, you can't go back, like, three things. Exactly. But, but you can go in. Like, I could go in and look at light, and I can see what I've done in those individual. Oh, no, that's not showing. Well, there you go. All right. This one might be too old. All right. I'm going to cancel that and go out of there. And then there's one more thing to look at, and that is the more button. Mm -hmm. and you see we, that a lot in all different kinds of apps. Right. And this is a way that Apple has allowed um, app developers to add their apps to mm -hmm. Apple's Photos um, app or other apps that are right. out there that Apple has. And if I come in here, you can see that there are a few that I have, Date Stamper and Afterlight. Mm -hmm. Afterlight's another editing program. And if I go into that, now I'm actually in that program, Afterlight. Afterlight. Yep. I can do mm -hmm. all the things in here and save it. Mm -hmm. And I'm now um, still in the... Right. Let me just go in and um, I could just turn a, turn a filter on and then say Done. And now I'm back in Apple's app and it's there. Yeah, you can see it doesn't say Afterlight up here anymore. Right, exactly. So okay. that's what the, the more feature is. Good. And there you go. Okay, <clears throat> so that's editing photos. And um, oh, well, and one thing we forgot to show you on when you're editing a photo, if we had any red eye problem, oh, yeah. there would be a little eye icon. Okay, let's show that. We've got one that has a little bit of a problem, doesn't it? This one. Oh, right. This one has a red eye icon. Right. Okay. And you can go into it. Yep. It's saying right now, no, but there's no red eye. Right. You can tap, you can find an eye that might have a red eye by zooming in and then tap on it and then it'll fix it. These right. don't really have red no, eye they don't. because the camera doesn't do it, but it must have a little red because it registered that. So right. that's how you would do red eye. Yep. yep. And so if your photo doesn't have a red eye, uh, you won't see the eye. Yeah, Some people are like, where's the red eye icon? Right. It only shows up. If there is a red eye. Right. It's just right. like live photo. It only shows up if there's a live photo. Right. So. so that was editing your photos. Now there are a few things you can do to edit your videos. Right. And the first one I'm going to show you is probably the biggest thing you can do is um, you can trim your photo in the beginning or the end of your, your video. video. Right. So I have picked a video, chose a video, and I'm again going to go into edit. And then down here is where you see the video timeline, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, if I... Press on it. Oops, I'm going to hold the iPad too. Well, the white bar, first of all, is your... Where video. you are. Yeah, that's your timeline. So if I go like what this... What is this? This was the iguana the Iguana in the pool. that was swimming in my mom's pool. And that was really <laughs> awful. It was matches. crazy. We had to get the handyman over to take it out. Right, it was big. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to trim. So I'm going to tap on it, and then I see... You see how I got that yellow right. bar that came up? Right. So I can pull in here... And you see where I've pulled in. Oh, right. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that. If, yep. if for like, there was a little bit in the beginning I didn't want to have on there, I could pull that in. Right. And I can do the same at the end. Like, maybe it's too long. It's I just want to film Pulling a little back. clip. I just want a little bit of it. Right. Now you just have that little and bit. And then if I wanted to keep it, I would just say, done. Right. And then it makes a copy, actually, right? It keeps your original. So if you say, done, it says, save as a new clip. Oh, perfect. Yeah. It's That's not nice. going to modify yep. your original. Yeah. But it is nice because usually sometimes when you're videoing, you get something done in the beginning uh, yeah. or something in the yeah. end. Or, or you want to, you know, text it to someone or something and you just want the little clip that you want right. to show. Right, 
Yeah. And also nice to notice the um, ability to go into the, there's the three dot icon mm -hmm. again, the more icon more, again. where you could go in and you could edit. I think you might have to cancel that. Yeah. Go Oops. back into it. And then I think then you can go in and you can say, oh, oh I I'm I'm movie for the yep. iPad. That's a, that'd make a right. great tech pick, right? Right. iMovie <laughs> is a great way to edit right. on you the could iPad. Just, because the editing for the videos is not that much. Right. All we can do is yeah. trim. Trim. Yep. And there is another thing you can do. You can also, if you have a slow-mo video, uh, which yep. I'm going to show That's this one good. of Ollie, uh, you can take video videos in slow motion. Right. And the thing that is interesting with the slow motion is when you're videoing and you choose slow motion, um, it's going to give you the, it gives you the ability to put the slow motion anywhere you want. In that video. Right. Yeah. So it videos the whole thing like normal and then it somehow gives you the capability. You can make the whole thing slow mo or you could put, you know, a little spot. Right. Like I'll show you again if we look down here at our video timeline. And then you see up here these little lines, and then this, where it kind of spaces them out more, this is the slow-mo. So if I go here and start playing, oops, play. it doesn't play here. Oh. Okay. Uh. Well, anyways, this is your slow-mo bit, and you could move it. I could make the whole thing slow-mo, or I could just a move a little bit. bit. Right. All right, so then I'm going to say done. And then I go back out here, and if I play it. Oh, here, up here. They put the play up here oh now. Gosh. I know, they moved the play. <laughs> there you can see, now it we're just in the slow-mo. Slow -mo. Yep. Oh, he's excited now to Now it's go. done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. And that's really nice to be able to adjust where you want the slow-mo, because usually you don't want it everywhere. No. It's so, so it's just this little, yeah, I didn't use it for emphasis, you know. Right. Something fun, you know. Right. You don't have to worry right. about getting it in there when you do it yep yeah so those are the few uh things that you can do for editing and, and with the time video. lapse photo you can also trim it right just like a regular video yeah. but that's it yeah right. yep. yep so so that is our tech bit on editing photos and videos thanks for watching the sync sisters tech bit and please subscribe to our channel